Hey, welcome back to another episode of my Drunk Uncles Podcast. I'm Uncle Laser. I got my co-host Bobby Flacco. How's it going? Here at the uh, Hydra Mom Studios in Georgia's basement. It's good to be back. Hey, fall's right around the corner. Football season's here. Want to give a quick shout out, Ad Reed, to our sponsors, Prize Picks. I've been winning a lot of money. Look, they give me money. I put the money down. I win more money. If you use promo code Laser with your first deposit, you can get up to $100. It's pretty simple. They're available through 30 over 30 states, the United States. They give you a selection. You got to just, are they going to meet the standard or go under the standard? Over, under the standard? Uh, passing yards or rushing yards, receptions, TDs. You can make up to th- up to three to six selections. Three will get you five extra money. If you get all six correct, they give you twenty five extra money. So what? you put hundred dollars. Yeah, you put hundred dollars down. You win twenty five. I missed one by one the other day and didn't win shit. I wind up losing two hundred dollars, dude. But I could have won five thousand. But there are different scenarios, different picks, different ways to go about it. Like I said, uh, you can take a flex pick, which is like if you get one wrong, they'll still pay you some some cash, some cashola, or you can just Go ballsy and do the power play. Get off six right, win 25 extra money. It's incredible. Prize picks. Use promo code Uncle Laser, or not Uncle, just Laser, at the beginning. They're going to match you up to $100. It's going to be fucking incredible. Bobby, let's get to the situation at hand. Give me my mom's windbreaker back. No, Why do you have that? Oh, she, gave, she gave it to me, bro. She and gave it to me. Fucking, she's not getting it back. What is this Ringling Brothers Circus hat you got on? Show the camera your hat. Well, what are you doing? You're wearing the same fucking clothes you were wearing last night when you got kicked out of a bar for being Why did I get kicked out of a bar, dude? What over happened? Because you're over the top sometimes. That's all right. That's why people love you, though. That's why I love you. Dude, bro. I was singing, dancing. And telling jokes. I mean, you were being a pure entertainer. Yeah, I was pure entertainer. Sometimes people ain't going to like that big dick energy. They're just not going to like the shit that you're thrusting into the universe. (laughs) That's where you got to fucking know know your audience. Yeah, and I got, uh, you know, I got got kicked out. I got kicked out of the bar for advocating sexual assault. I don't know. No, I I said, try to buy her a drink. Don't stop at the first no. Yeah, I said, buy her a drink, take her home, don't stop at the first no. Meaning, you know, know, when girls do that little, no, don't stop, that cute thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they want you to stay. I'm not saying going there and forcefully throw somebody through the drywall. I'm not saying, oh, I don't advocate any of that shit. Right. But I'm saying sometimes... You're trying to no- out-charm them in yeah. the moment. Just trying sometimes, to out-charm them. And, and, sometimes yeah. they want that chase. Yeah. They like a good chase, and you got to fill that void any way you can. If she tells you, oh, no, don't stop, it means, yes, baby, try some more. They like that. Listen, I know women. Yeah, that's not what it means all the time. Man, but no, she's like, hey, she's like, no, seriously, go home. Go the fuck home, you weirdo. Don't be a fucking creep. But anyways, that caught me. A little fucking off guard, you know. Yeah, dude, so dude. you were in the bathroom taking a shit, nowhere to be found. Didn't even fucking help <laughs> yeah, I, love, I went a couple bars down. I come back, they're like, "Oh yeah, he's not here anymore." I was like, "Man, that's all yeah, right." We're going. We you're, went a to a, you're a hell of a sidekick. Dude. I you're know, man. Nowhere to be found. Literally the best, dude. Trouble, dude. But anyways, let's get to it. In I got a couple of um, special guests in here. One of the guys I'm taking out on tour with me uh, all throughout Florida. Uh, great fucking dude. Hilarious comedian. I got another comedian. He's uh, from Orlando as well. Uh, does a bunch of social media shit, comics, right? You live here in Austin now, don't you? Yep. Okay, yep, cool. Yep. Without further ado, let me give it up to fucking my boy, David Jolly. Mama, okay. we made it. Mama, we made it. And my boy, Jimmy Monahans. Moynihan. Moynihan. Hey, I, was, I fuck up enough. everybody's name, Close dude. It, it's fucking yeah. tough. How you boys doing? How we feeling? Shit, I'm good, man. Game yeah, violence. Yeah. Like, you got the same shit you wore last night, too. So Bobby, nah, this is a different shirt, okay, motherfucker. Okay, different shirt. All right, relax. <laughs> <laughs> but it is the same thing. <laughs> Jimmy, you're a comic as well, too, and you're from yep. Orlando. Are you Maybe. moved down here now? Yep. I've been here a month. Been loving it. It's fucking tight. Charlie's it? been obviously helping me a lot. Yeah, dude. Great. And y'all kind of text. So, yeah, I got my black guy, and you got, you know, there's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, y'all coming yeah. together. Everyone guys, needs yeah. a black guy. Yeah, yeah. Black guy. yeah. everybody yeah. needs a white guy. This is my black guy. Yeah. 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 The name of our tour of Florida is Ending Racism. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a fucking dope name. I'm telling you, we're going to be making light skinned babies all throughout the South. We you just know need an Indian host, but you got to wear deodorant. You know what I mean? Oh, well, relax. I know what you're saying. Welcome to the stage. I'm kidding. Come on. Hey, what are we doing? So, Jolly, what, what's the comedy scene? Or both of y'all, what's the comedy scene, like, the difference from the Austin to, like, the Orlando scene? There was Is there really a comedy scene out in Orlando? Oh, yeah, it's a fucking huge month. We got the best comedy scene in Florida by far. But, I mean, it's just a lot of bullshit you got to deal with. Yeah. Like, dealing with comics, and it's like, everybody want to be the head honcho, and it's like, I don't want to... Really even be here You know I'm trying to right. Be on TV Y'all motherfuckers Think about Orlando Instead of helping Each other up Grow yeah, yeah. You know like Austin is like If you good You go to the top Of the crop That's yeah. the bottom line But everybody Nobody jealous of you You know what I mean right. Like they Help each other out It's a real scene Yo in Austin, real quick you know? Cam is calling you On your phone Should I answer this Motherfucker or not 
Nah, don't answer. Yeah, fuck Cam. Hey, by the way, <laughs> David Jolly is uh, Cam's real uncle. Like, right? Or Black people uncle, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I, okay. I'm trying to fuck his... I, I tried to own. fuck his auntie. That's you know all. There you go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, same shit. That makes like, you his uncle. Shit. We do holidays and shit. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm baby. always at his people's house for holidays. Got, yeah, didn't he tell his grandma or something? Like, fuck your wine or some shit. No, but. I got real drunk. That's when I was drinking. I got fucking trash. It was like Christmas or something. And I'm. she was like, I got some white Zinfandel in there. So <laughs> That's fine. I'm like, yeah, okay. It was a big one. And some I'm Zimf? Just, yeah. And I drunk it all. And, you know, I don't remember saying... I ain't buying no goddamn wine. Yeah. I might have. Yeah. 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 That was you, what I was you drinking. You don't drink now no more? No? Yeah, I don't drink at all no more. Really? Yeah, I just quit. I mean, I got a lot going on, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. and I didn't know this. I found out last night. You, you got a, a child, too. I didn't yeah, know I got you. an 18-year-old. He, he in college. Oh, no shit. Oh, yeah. Down in Florida? Yeah. Well, he go to Bethune-Cookman in Daytona. Okay. So yeah. I, I tell you, he play sports and shit? or just nah, just nah. a smart kid. Smart dude. This is first year, you know what I mean? I, I really don't. When it comes to like social media and stuff, I don't really put a lot of personal stuff out no, there. No, for you know? sure. Yeah, I try to hide my shit too. Because people, people ain't know my real people name. People weird though. People yeah, really yeah. They do weird. Strange shit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Show up at your house and shit. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm cool with people. I ain't got nothing against them, but <clears throat> they'll be cool at first and then be like, that weird button cut on when they yeah, start, yeah. you know. Breathing on your neck, trying to sleep <laughs> in your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 It's fucking retarded. No way. Uh, <clears throat> what, so wait, he's 18. You're what, 40? 42. So you had him when you were 22? 24. God, that boy, yeah. man, horrible. Yeah. 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 It's a guess close. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you came in, you came in swinging as a nervous wreck, dude. What do you mean, dude? I like, like it. I like it. No, it's cool. Yeah, the energy's cool sometimes, but imagine hanging out with him every day, you know what I mean? So I'm glad that I haven't seen you in a couple weeks. I missed you, though. Is that the only jack you have for, jacket you have for wintertime? Or what? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, I, like, that's I got, you got different got, ones. Dude. This was just like the fucking, this is the one yeah, I, I threw on. You look like, like, you know the people that wash people's uniforms and shit? The Cinco's people, yeah. the truck people do? Yeah. Fuck you. you remember, like, hey, you remember whenever you called me yesterday? You said you were going to go work out with me today at fucking 12. We were going to go do hot yoga. I went. Where were you, dude? Yeah, sleeping. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, so where's the gang violence thing originate from? Is that is that you or is that Cam? Or who well, is I that? mean, like I, I say, it, we both <coughs> used to say it. Like when you go on stage, just fucking murder that shit. Throw That's it, where dude. it come from. Or like e anything, even whatever job you got, gang violence. Just fuck some shit up. Yeah, yeah. you know I, what I mean. Like yeah. the motherfucker who coming behind you, you better fuck. You about to work. You yeah. know what I mean. Like, yeah. Fuck yourself up. out of this hole, you know. Yeah, what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that's what gang violence is. You, know where, I mean? like, where you were doing a bit last night, midgets in the wild. I loved it. I fucking <laughs> they didn't laugh because I know it was a little newer, but dude, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I just started working it. I mean, it's gonna be good when I get done. Yeah, with it. you've been seeing some. I, I don't see him. I seen one the other day walking out of the mothership, <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's a fucking midget in the wild. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, you don't see him. When the last time you just seen a midget in the wild? There was a little short Asian lady yeah, at, I got a homie at, at my kinda. show in Scottsdale the other day, and she, like, messaged me. and was like, yo, please, I'm sitting in front. Please make fun of me. Like, wanted me to, like, fucking go at her. Was, was she a midget or just a little bit? She was in. a little person. Are we allowed to say midget? I'm going to say midget. midget. No. I'm going to get canceled like some that. anyway. I, you know what? We're po saying midget. Politically <laughs> correct. I actually heard the politically correct term for a little person is actually a dwarf. A dwarf. Can you but, that? but it's midgets and dwarves. You got dwarves. They're a little taller than midgets. Yeah, well, I mean, that's all mystical stuff, though. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh -huh. that's, that's, that's the Lord of the Rings handbook. Hey, <laughs> you know see, that's I'm one saying? of our best friends, dude. Yeah, dwarf dude. sounds worse, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I said. I was like, dude, midget kind of sounds like, or like, like a fucking like piece cool. of gear or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like a little, widget. Little <laughs> yeah. people just sound like, why, don't be a little person. That's like, worse. Yeah, yeah I think that's way worse. Yeah, a little person, like, that's picking on my I'm just tired It's condescending off top. Yeah, like, it's a lot of words, like, like retarded, you know what I mean? Like yeah. nice a bad word. Back in the days, you were cool if somebody say that motherfucker retarded. Hey, yeah, you know what I mean? Hey, that set was retarded. Yeah, yeah you that know means what you mean? fucking yeah. slated. That means gang violence occurred. You know exactly, what I mean? exactly. Now like, you I'm can't... trying to get retarded tonight. You yeah, know what you right? can't like, even say it anymore. <laughs> like, I'm trying to have a good time. <laughs> I'm trying to have a good time. <laughs> a good fucking time. You don't call retarded people retarded. You call them Santa's little special? helpers. Yeah, spe Santa's yeah, little yeah, helpers. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, Santa's You know what I'm saying? Like. Fuck shit. So you're at, you're working at the comedy mode ship now too. Yeah, right? I'm a door guy over there now. Fuck yeah. What's that like? So what's the schedule like on that? How does that work? I only work like two, three days, but I mean like the good thing about it at the mothership, I love it. It's like family there, first of all. Second of all, they'll work around you. Like if I got a gig that night, then I just clock out, go do the gig, come back. Oh yeah. Plus I only work like three days. Everybody work like three days. Some people work more days, uh, I guess because like, maybe they don't have as many gigs, so they just want to pick up ships. Yeah. You pull up str
What? I ain't a security. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't <laughs> security. We're at the fucking bank, dude. It's a goddamn comedy venue. Yeah, yeah right. Dude, hey, we I, got, I ain't security. You, know yeah, 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 yeah. you seen what street it's on, dude? Jesus yeah, Christ. Hey, dude, yesterday when we was walking up to that show, they said there was a bunch of black Israelites in the alley with a bunch of machetes. Yeah, I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah, bro. Like, protesting, like, the Israel and stuff going on, like, with the war and shit like that over I, there. That shit's man. terrible, dog. I know, dude. I heard, I heard that a dude that's over the black Israelites is actually a white dude named George. No mm. way. Yeah, that's what I heard. Mm. That's I don't all, know if it's true, but that's crazy. That's bro. George funny. Washington. Like, what are we doing? No. Here? Oh, no. Hey, oh, dude. Yeah, hey, I, I see what you know. did, though. I don't know. I don't know his last name, but that's what I heard. Son of a bitch, dude. Uh, and then you got your new show at. We did it last <laughs> night at, oh, yeah. at, at Sunset. Asking for a friend, produced by Jimmy Moynihan. Hey, and I'll tell you what. That's a fucking cool ass show. The concept of like you sit in three comedians or whoever many comedians on stage. People put you know. Just topics like yeah, they want questions, advice, questions yeah, advice. in a fishbowl. We pulled out, we answered on stage. It's pretty cool because it's funny, meaningful. Had some passionate yeah, moments in there. Like when you were talking about the housing market, Dude, I was I like, fu- "What the it, fuck just happened?" You tried to tell me I was fucking wrong. Yeah, I, yeah, I, was I, breaking I owned, that bitch down. I owned a fucking house. I went through that process. Yeah. It's a process. It sucks dick. So yeah. like, yeah. yeah, look, I may come off like a fucking retard, but I'm not. You know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? Like, math's kind of hard and shit. Yeah, you ain't a smart. I mean, you ain't an idiot. You know, you're no, a very smart person. Yeah, that's just. Yeah, but you rent. You rent now, right? I rent now. Yeah, four roommates. Okay, so that's what we're doing, dude. You're gonna. Do well, that. I'm just saying. You're I mean, you know a me, lot about the housing market. You're gonna come at me like that in a fucking windbreaker <laughs> in your fucking little sister's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> These dude, like, this you just got the cutting Jesus. grass. My and little shit. sister has bigger feet than you. What are you talking about? You got the fucking puka shell ankle bracelet out of a fucking gumball machine. <laughs> <laughs> Said, puka like, shit. What's a puka? Yeah, damn, see, like, yeah, what is a puka, dude? <laughs> that shit like it looked like vel- the Velveeta cheese shells. You know, oh. what I'm like, fucking. What You're right. Fuck? You're right. Velveeta dude. cheese shells pretty good. Hey, they slap, bro. They do. Oh That's the best God. mac. It really is. No, that shit slaps. It um, captures the cheese yeah. so well. But, so how'd you and Jimmy link up? What, what y'all, y'all? Y'all was out there together, and you yeah, just the, down? the comedy scene. Like you know, I've been knowing Jimmy for years. That's my partner. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. just the scene, and you know when he moved down here, like. I was just like, come on, let's, let me introduce let's you to it, everybody, yeah. you know, like, because you know how it is when you first move to a scene, you be like shy and don't know really know where to get in. Yeah, but yeah. I was just like, yeah. nah, you know, because Jimmy's funny as hell. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen you do stand up yet, Jimmy. I'm, I'm he, looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, hopefully I do it around, but like, Jolly, like, he goes out of his way to introduce me to Fuck everybody. Yeah, you're a homie. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's my partner. Like, I don't want you to have to go to the shitty ass taco mic when you can go yeah. get some time at the regular show. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? That taco mic sucks. Yeah, yeah, they're just some weird all mics. Mexicans just doing comedy, and then they looking at you like this. Yeah, I know you don't know what the fuck I'm saying. You know, like <laughs> yeah. you, just, you just why are you here? Why is this happening right now? This is <laughs> this is stupid. Shit, man. I, I mean, shit. but you know, like the good thing is, like even when I came to Austin, you know, like uh, Cam introduced me to everybody I needed to know, and then I just had to do the work. Like once you once I get off the stage, the the rest is fucking history. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah, you let that speak for itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was like, let me put my dog in that position. So when it's like he'll be one of the comics actually getting booked. Yeah, because once you got a foot in the door, that's the hardest part. You know, getting that get foot in, in the door. door and then, yeah. then you got yourself your chance to prove yourself and that's where it transpires. So it's, it's, a, it's a great it's a great scene though. I love Austin scene. No, it's crazy. There's so, you can in a fucking <coughs> four block radius, you can hit sixteen different spots in a night. You yep. know what I'm saying? It's uh, the mecca. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. And the music shit's big out here. Yeah, yeah. I say yeah, it, it's just a this city right now is a vortex of like artists, musicians, artists. Like, and on the come up, yeah, on no, the come I'm up. Saying, yep. Like, yeah, and so like that, right there, knocking on the door. Yeah, and that's, that, that's intended to happen over time, bro. Like you could only keep seeing the same people do the same shit before you want new. And I think that this city spawns new fucking like killers. Life. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like you came in this motherfucker, ri- ripped through immediately. You know what I mean? Like which is great because you're fucking funny. You're good at what you do. So it's yeah. like, but it's crazy because like it's like the hub, right? So like back in the day, it was like L.A. or New York and shit like that. Because like you got. You know, you guys were probably slammers, hitters in the fucking Orlando scene, but Orlando isn't, you know, what people attribute to, oh, that's a big yeah, comedy. They don't know, they don't know, yeah. But you got all these motherfuckers flocking in this hub, and you got the best of the best, iron sharpens iron, and yep. it's that kind of environment. Dude, it's like, you go through these social trends, and shit, like, like in the, the late 60s when the hippie movement went, like, hate Ashbury, like, people wrote about all the shit that was going, it's the same shit, like, out here in Austin right now, like, this comedy scene, music scene, like, this community of people just fucking honing their craft, yep. and it's and, fucking special. And they add it every day. It make, every day. I like the fact you can get up so many times a night. So it's just like, I don't remember the last night I didn't do comedy. Like, it'll be weird if I go a day without comedy, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, flexing that muscle. Yeah. It's crazy. You know? And in Florida, like, 
to get up every day, you're driving to St. Pete, you're driving to Tampa, you're driving to Daytona. Yeah, you're oh, like, fuck. So you're so like commuting between yeah, like, you gotta hit, like yeah, different everywhere. Yeah, see, and I want to yeah. get on stage every day, which means like you one day I'm driving. Fucking, yeah, yeah. But see, one day I'm driving three hours. He from Melbourne. That's like right outside of Orlando. Like Orlando, you can get up every day of the week. Sometimes you can get up three to four some places if you play it right, but it ain't as close as like Austin. Where you, know? you can just walk. Yeah, yeah, you, you, well, you can walk. Me, yeah, some places you can in Orlando, but like, you might have to drive. But you can get up two to three times a night in Orlando. Oh, yeah, you know, no, but, I, I, but he, they got a great scene in Melbourne. That scene in Melbourne, mean. No shit. They small. What but about Miami? Mighty. Is Miami a good spot, like for comedy and shit? Because I think I'm gonna I, head out there. I mean, I know some people. They got a great like comedy club because it's Miami image wise. But to me, I don't think, I don't think the down south comics are nowhere near as good as yeah Central Florida and then. I mean, because most of them don't take it serious, you know. Yeah. Like they, the cats are. Oh, I got a, I got a show this month, you know. And then they more bragging on the internet about the show instead of like going Look, and killing, you looking know? like fucking looking like Miami Vice and shit. Like yeah. it's all about the looks. Over yeah, there, exactly. You know? it's, it's a lot of hot people in fucking Miami. Well, it's a lot of it's fat. a lot of it's a lot of ugly motherfuckers too, now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's some beautiful people. So yeah. you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah. <laughs> That's a windbreaker with wool inside of it. Dude, you're yeah. a have you seen it? You seen eat, underneath bro. this windbreaker? I'm fucking chopped. <laughs> yeah, dude, you, you have been doing a lot of hot yogurt. But I'm, you got a soft body, dude. I'm dead. Nice. No, body. I don't. You got I don't a hard body, but a soft mind. Bro, you dude. literally look like a bounce if you hit the ground, dog. Because <laughs> I'm dense, motherfucker. No. Yeah, dude, you, you were dense, meet. you'd fucking stop like a rock. You don't want to meet me in a phone booth, dude. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Y'all do this all day, don't you? Hey, this motherfucker, the other day, he was like, dude, I heard from like three different people. They're like, bro, laser was fucking heated he was talking about how he sees he's gonna beat your ass I immediately called him i said what yeah. are you saying dude no no because this is what happened dude. this is what happened <laughs> he fucking throws these fits because there's a girl in our group that i kind of been messing around with that he don't fucking whatever you know like, it's besides the point but i was supposed to Excuses. go i was supposed to go my mom and them came into town and i was supposed to go down the river with them and trip a bunch of mushrooms but it's all the way out in new Braunfels. it's like an hour and a half yeah yeah it. i was like ma i come sunday during the day so i get in the water <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because at nighttime. So I wasn't going to go out, and they were playing Rustic Tap down on 6. And it's Saturday, and there's a bunch of people that watch football games. So it was a packed ass show. I was like, I'll come out there. Fuck it. Well, I got a mushroom sponsor, right? And so I, the little two chocolates that were open, there's two squares left. They're 0.25, right? So I took that. I like to take like two grams when I go out in public. Yeah. Because I can function still and still be in the vibe, catch a zone, you know? But fucking, I open up the new box, and I was like, all right, 0.25. Let me take six of them. You know what I'm saying? And like, get right you know what i'm saying and that would be like right at like one and a half grams the well, logic doesn't even add up but the squares huh. take six squares at 0.25 you know what i'm saying that's two and a half grams but they ended up being like double huh? no they were 1.0 per square so i took six Whoa. and a half grams and went out into the world that was a, and, dude when i got in the uber ride <laughs> like because we take mushrooms that was a good first time wasn't it? no i was terrified <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, when i walked in i was like i can fucking feel the way everybody smells in here you know like, yeah, like, i can just, hear smells everybody's yeah, like yeah. fucking perverted and then like, I'm in the Uber and I'm like getting that heavy feeling like when mushrooms kick in you know what I'm saying and then like but I start sweating I'm like oh fuck this ain't a regular trip this is a heavy trip and I'm like I look at that box and it said 1.0 then I'm freaking the fuck out like I'm gonna overdose on mushrooms like yeah. in, in public you know yeah. so sat in the bathroom watched little naked ladies in the wood in the, <laughs> out, you man. thought it was over it never ended I'm still on them hey, <laughs> hey, one, 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 night, stuck. one night I did like four and a half five grams on purpose and I was uh, just downtown Orlando hitting mics. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Like, if we were sitting here, it could be nine conversations going on. I can understand the Spanish that's going on yeah. over there. <laughs> you like could read yeah, people's dude. dreams. <laughs> yeah. 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 I went to sleep, but my brain was still on. That shit was crazy. That's the worst, yeah. when you can't come down off the high, and you're yeah. like ready to go to bed and ready to... Yeah. Yeah. You know why? It's because it fucking accesses those brain roots that, you know what I mean, is like before... Our generation, like that's generational shit that you got embedded in your fucking brain. You know, yeah, I mean? it all like, comes out. Yeah, it yeah. just, it's just like it all surfaces, and you're just like, oh fuck, you know what I mean? Like maybe you, one of your fucking great grandparents might have known some Spanish, maybe. Yeah, yeah. maybe <laughs> you would you get on a plane on them bitches? Fuck no, dude. I've tell you, let me be honest with you, dude. I've a couple of times taken acid before I've gotten a flight, but that's because I fucking mediate it with like a few airport beers. Yeah. I don't know what it is, dude. I just like to be fucked up whenever I fly. So when I land, I'm in the pocket. You know yeah, you're good. Going. But I've never been that far anywhere, really. There's a colonial woman on the wing. We got to land the plane. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck, dude. 
Yeah. <laughs> Taking acid with a few airport beers. You're not normal, bro. Like, yeah, what no, dude. I'm, I'm built way different. Dude. I know I'm not normal. One time I had a, a gig at a LOL in Winter Haven. I was featuring for this dude a couple years ago. And I was on the way there. It's like an hour ride. I done took like three grams of shrooms. I had like a 30-minute set. I was up there murdering on them shrooms. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah. I, I was Because I didn't care, you know? You know yeah. how you get in that pocket where the you pocket just like... Where you you find it, you're sharp, too. Like, if it, once you once you kick in like that... I feel like with any kind of trip, like, there's going to be a turbulent spot. It's whenever you're fucking processing, like, okay, Yeah, what's going on? We're going. Like, this, this yeah. the roller coaster just left. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, don't get off now. We're, going, yeah. we're on it. The but once you get comfortable on the ride and you're fucking in the pocket, yeah, like, yeah, you're good to go. Once the anxiety settles, of like, oh, oh shit, yeah. here we go, and then you yeah. break through, it's your fucking, it's yeah. money. Well, that's why, I, and that's why, like, over the years, because I've taken, dude, I mean, the most I'd taken was like five grams initially, and I took another <laughs> seven because I liked how I felt, and I went deep, and that's why I moved to Austin. I've talked about it to people, but like nowadays, I just like wean into it, dude. Like I just start microing, I like work my way to a comfortable spot to where I'm like, oh, all right, but then just I, keep going. If, if that's the vibe, you know, I oh, mean, yeah, yeah. I just stay where I'm at and I'm I'm comfy, you know. Once I feel that first giggle, I'm like, God. yeah, then I'm like, yeah, that's right, well, yeah, 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 that's, that's right, right there. Yeah. Should we take some mushrooms in fucking Florida? Or what, <laughs> yeah, we can. Dude. We're going to the Sausage Castle. Tell people about the Sausage Castle. Let's give a shout out to them, dude. It's it's special. The Sausage Castle is probably the greatest place on earth. I remember one time Sounds I Sounds like it, dude. I mean, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. One time I went to the Sausage Castle. It was like a porn star chick. This was a long time ago before my girlfriend. Uh, but she in the sex swing, right? She giving this dude some head. I'm just walking around. Doo, 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 doo. And I'm like, oh, what do you know? It's a vagina. This one I was drinking. I was fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was wasted. So I was like, mm, do you mind? And it's like condoms everywhere. Yeah. So I'm just saying, bloop, bloop, bloop. And I just started banging in the sex swing, buddy getting some head. Next thing you know, I walk out Joy Fatone over here from fucking Insane. Insane. Yeah, I'm like, this is a crazy night. Yeah. It's like midgets and pixies and shit in there. Yeah. It's all kind of porn chicks and, and that fucking that Fatone dog. Yeah, you know one Joy fifth Fatone of Insane. Cool, That's why they call him Fat One because he's just girthy. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He was he had on clothes. I he was, he had on clothes. He ain't like he wasn't with the party. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. But was I was there, just I, yeah, I was just like, oh shit. I was like, you the nigga from Insane. Let me get a picture. He was like, all right. So I posted it on Facebook. I'm like, I am way too drunk right now. Sausage Castle. We're going out there, man. It's going to be a fucking great time. It, it don't sleep at the Sausage Castle. And we're having to stay there the first night, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to stay there the first we're, we're night. We're renting a car. It's once like a we brothel? Got, dude, once, it's like no, it's a not fucking, a it's like an 80 acre, like, fucking, like, he do a lot club. of content, like as far what? as like, yeah. not sex content, but right. like all kind of content. Just like f stupid shit, sending it, just fucking dirt, like just all kind of like party. It's just, yeah, it's a the, party. The guy, what's the guy's name? Mike. Uh, Mike uh, Busey. I, I just always figured out, I'm terrible with that thing. But yeah, Mike Busey, he's like this crazy party dude that's just like next level. Like he's a king of parties. Like, I mean, it's going to be fucking. They got like members, like you can get a membership and they have a members weekend. Mm -hmm. And at the members weekend, they can stay on the grounds. Oh, okay. yeah. And you can go in the house. They got like, sometimes they have like a comedy show. One time they had a comedy show, and on the big screen, they were playing this game that they got. It was called uh, like Player Haters, where the dude was in a cow suit. <laughs> he was getting a blowjob from this fucking fine ass shit. She just sucking him up, but it's all kind of weird shit going on around. Like a dude in a thong <laughs> came out. The game was to make sure he don't nut. Oh. It was a player hater, so it was like. Motherfuckers with thongs shaking their ass in his face, but like fat white dudes and all <laughs> kind of wild crazy. shit. They were slapping him with whips, and the, the fucking porn star was just. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? This yeah. is incredible. You you gonna love this place? Oh, I'm probably gonna die there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah listen, to bury me under the motherfucker. You don't want to leave because they yeah. everybody treats you like family, like that. Because he got like a staff, fuck yeah. and uh, like some they have all kind of games. One year for the Super Bowl. He got like a, it ain't a whole NFL size field, but it's like a, it's Half. a nice size to play like six on six football. Okay. Yeah. It was supposed to be flagged and oh, it start, yeah. we started tackling out there. Motherfuckers was rah, taking bets. It was a, one dude was in the NFL, I forgot yeah. his name, but he was like the quarterback. I'm like, this shit is crazy. Yeah. Midget Mac out there. Remember the dude, like no neck, the black dude, the yeah, internet yeah, yeah. motherfucker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was there, the dude that, uh, the fat white dude that had the ice cream on his face that used to get shot yeah, in the nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was there. It's, it's, you just to see anybody. Post Malone go there 
All the time. Hell yeah, that sounds like the greatest place on earth. <laughs> it is. Hey, they don't let your kind in, though, dude. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Native American. What? Fuck. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, dude. Hey, we started that fucking whole place, dude. Uh, when there you, were teepees there before there were oh, actually okay, establishments. Relax, dude, I swear relax, to God. Dude. It might be teepees on that land. That's, that's pretty my, country out there. That's my Uncle Chief. That's why Walla he can't get away with it. It's in Lake County, and it's like the nearest house. You know, like they can't really hear it. You know, you wet, you out there in the woods. Woods, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like out there. Like you don't want to go back there driving drunk. Oh, like you if you gonna get drunk, yeah. well, I mean, yeah, because sometimes the GPS will take you to the back side of the house. Then you got to go all the way around like ten minutes. The place is huge. Is humongous. You hear me, Lazen? Yeah. yeah. You finna see? I fucking can't wait. To be quite I'm, honest, dude. Since that tonight? Yeah, we're yeah. literally flying in. Wow. We get in at like eleven thirty. We rent the car. And we drive. It's about well, how far from the airport? Fifty Our, minutes. Fifty minutes. We drive Not up there. Far. We're going in. It sounds like a Christmas far. miracle in October. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, my my old lady stay like not too far. She stay in Lake County. It's probably about twenty minutes are away. Are we sleeping there? Where are we sleeping? Yeah, yeah. We, we good. Sleep, they sleep. got. It's like a mansion. He got like rooms themed. He already know. Miguel Dude, was like, we good. There. I hope you. I, you gonna die, motherfucker. <laughs> Listen. Are. If Mike know that we coming in there, so knowing Mike, he'll be like, mm, let me call up some. He always got chicks rolling out the red carpet. Yeah, I fucking love it. Yeah, oh my god, they dude, they gonna so love sick. you. I told him. I think he told me about you. Damn it, Giorgio, this is the one I should have brought you on, son of a bitch. Yeah, hey, when when you go back the next week, you good. Like yeah. whatever you want to do, I'm gonna try to do a bunch of shit because I'm supposed to be at some uh, festival at Riff Raff the following weekend. And yeah, shit, but I might spend a couple of days in Miami. Podcasting and uh, Marley from Revolution. Right, he's off, so I'm gonna probably go down there and link up with him and do some fun shit. So he'll be yeah. in Miami for a little. Is that where he lives? Yeah, he li he's got a badass like fucking beachfront condo. That motherfucker, I love that motherfucker. He's a great guy. Yeah, he's a great hey, guy. let me ask you something on some real shit. You believe in ghosts? Hell no. You don't believe in ghosts? No. Okay, so you'd be perfect for this. So look, I got this idea. I've been sitting on this idea for a while, and I, I kind of want to put it in motion. Because I like growing up, I watch all them ghost shows and shit, right? And me and my brother, would, we got a bunch of equipment, night vision cameras, little spirit box, go out to the graveyards and shit and look for the unknown. The you ever seen it? Yeah, I've seen a lot of shit. I've had a lot of shit happen to me, some Whoa. weird shit. But I had an idea for a ghost show. Like, I got permission. There's a... I think it's in Yorktown, Texas. It's like south of Victoria. There's like one of the hauntedest places in the United States. It's an old Asale Asylum hospital. It's oh, abandoned. See, this is some wild but shit. But I, I got permission to go down there, pay a fee, go down there for the night. And I think like... What, spend the night in that motherfucker? Spend the night in that motherfucker. So oh, yeah, this is some white they, people they, shit to but, another but, but, yeah, level. But, but, but this you're like, asking for that shit. <laughs> yeah. You're asking for if that. If you go looking, you will find it. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this, that's facts. But this, I'm saying like, we go down there, right? And like, I watch these ghost shows and if they go down there, they don't find any evidence or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's kind of a boring episode. So, but I feel like if you took like three or four comics and just a small camera crew, like a, a, a sound guy and a fucking, you know, fucking camera guy, <coughs> you got the mounted cameras on your chest and shit. You go in there like MTV's Fear, like by yourself and do tasks, right? But like, if we ain't finding anything, if we ain't getting no evidence, then we, since we're comics, we're naturally funny, we start fucking with each other, right? Yeah. And then midway through it, we take mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. Midway through it, we take mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, man, we yeah, got, let's do acid. Let's make, like, let's, let's like fucking Blair make it real crazy. Happen, <laughs> dude. I'm yeah. telling you, dude. Y'all are all going to be levitating in the corner facing the wall, dude. Whatever. <laughs> we'll come I'm fucking trying, find y'all. I've had some weird ghost experience. Now, now this will be great content because it'll go viral. But we got to have at least like a pastor there or something. Like yeah, somebody. So you don't want to open that Jesus. portal up for good. Oh, man, you're fine. Dude. That's some I, wild I make, shit. I make friends with my demons. You know what I'm oh saying? Hey, God, demons, dude. it's your boy. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> we're fine. We're, fine. That, yeah. It, yeah. we're friends. It'll be great content, though. It'd yeah. be great content. What about daytime or nighttime? You talking about nighttime? I mean, yeah, you can't know. Nothing shit happens in the Man, daytime. it might be bears and shit out there. there Rattlesnakes. There's bears in Texas. There's a goat that's on the property. He's pretty mean. I've met him. That's weird, time. though. Yeah, that you yeah. know goat, the goat. goat. Goats are weird. That's with witchy those shit. Eyes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's all, they're like the head of the goat, dude. It's Somebody like, got to bring a gun or something. A you can't shoot gun. ghosts. It'd go right through them. No, you know I'm talking about the goat, motherfucker. I'm oh, okay, worried about that goat. Out. That goat yeah. get bad, man. Yeah. No, I get that. Uh, but shoot no, the goat. Cool, so I want to put that in motion. But yeah, I'm going to see if you can be a part of that. Because I feel like, if, especially if you don't believe. Because my thing, I love bringing people out there that are uh, like, Optimistic about it, they don't really like think it's like a, they're like skeptics. I mean, I'm shit. pretty sure it's some out there that's just something I don't dwell in, you know. Right. Yeah, you know, of course, well, let's, it's let's get your feet wet, you know. What I'm saying? I ain't scared, you know, I'm gonna just be on them shrooms and whatever happens, just happens. Happens, dude. I'm telling you, dude. that shit gonna be amazing, dude. You never, so you never seen no ghosts, no aliens, no shit like that. 
Nah, I ain't never seen that. But I mean, I didn't feel energy in the room and seen shit move. Yeah. But I mean, we we can't label it a ghost. I don't yeah. know what it is. I mean, it's some type of spiritual form. But ghosts is just seem like Ooh. right, right. Yeah. I mean, of course, there's something else out there that's like a. Uh, it ain't. We ain't the only ones out here. It's other kind of energy. Like energy don't die. So right. like when 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 this energy go well, it, we exactly. got to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like Other dimension. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can. Call it ghost. I just I don't want to call it a ghost though. Right. You know, right? Yeah. Like I seen a dude levitate when I was in college. It was a dude in the dorms, like it was a corner like that, right? He said, "Watch this." He backed up off the wall so you can tell he wasn't touching nothing, and he did. He did like this and literally levitated off the ground and went. Uh, then he fell. This was what like my sophomore fuck? year. I seen that with my own eyes. Mm. So of course it's 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 some stuff out there. Oh you know? yeah. Uh, that's without a doubt. I'm, that's like if you keep digging, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you want to just you wouldn't just go flirt with this shit. Yeah, dude. Uh, you flirt with big ass monsters all the time. You take them to bowling or something <laughs> big <laughs> ugly. Yeah. You bring us and bitch from Chernobyl. Stop putting my business out there, yeah, dude. Everybody God. watches this, dude. We're gonna no get a million views. Get no what views. a bunch of you like to take. Big girls bowling? Oh yeah, that's just thing, bro. Like, just Big no girls? No, it's not though, dog. Like that's the fucked up part. It's like, <laughs> like maybe it happened once or twice. Big girls a good yeah. time, man. I'm not saying they're not. Well, plus, I'm just saying, like you know, after after a while, it becomes like a pattern. It's like it's a different kind of big though. Like, cause you like big girls are like more like muscular. Yeah, muscular, broad, yeah. and like they're always taller than you. Oh, you like like. Fucking uh, no, bodybuilders. He's, he's, he's doing this thing. I, I just like to have good shoulders. You can hold on to them. Yeah, oh, yeah, so strong. I like I like to uh, fuck big girls from the back, and they got that little fupa. Yeah, and then what you got to do? You got to stick them on the sides and then buck like a bull. You got to hold on to the fupa. Yeah. It's a fun. It's fun, man. Try it out, Bobby. I'm telling you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 You're seat belty yeah. there. You're strapping him in. Yeah, you're strapping him for the ride, man. You're a good fucking man. You're a gentleman. Yeah, thank you, Jimmy. What about you? What you got, man? What's uh, what's what's on your plate coming up next? Anything big or anything like that? Or you just kind of. Getting your feet wet out and off. Yeah, so right now it's like gig to gig, you know? Yeah. It's like whatever I can jump on, and in between I'm doing open mics. So yeah. I'm just trying to get on stage as out much as I can. Grinding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, got a, out. I, I got a tour going on. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about that. What, what's going Gang on? Gang violence tour. You know, I got uh, the Louisville Comedy Club. I'm coming up there in uh, yeah, I think New I, Year's I, Eve. Like, Louisville? Like the, yeah, like the 30th, 29th of December. You okay. doing the, the Louisville Comedy Club? It's either the comedy or the laugh. Laugh, laugh, Louisville. Laugh, Louisville. Yeah. Eric told you know Eric. That's uh, he used to be the GM at the comedy store. He uh, he oversees shit at the mothership. It's crazy, like how you could just meet people. I met him and like I met him the last time he was here, and uh, just talking to him, he was like, "Yeah, this is the guy's name. Hit him up. He got this club, this club, this club, this oh, club." Bet. So you I'm just, uh, uh, I'm I want to work on that. Yeah. I had a Jewish dude walk up to me about two, three weeks ago, so I was like, "Mama, we made it." Yeah, well, you know, yep. I mean, you can't. You know, that means you've been chosen. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't jump on, on the first one though. You gotta wait it out. You know what I mean? You gotta wait it out and see which Jewish man is the best. Like what they can do for you that you can't do for yourself. You know, like I can book what myself makes, now. What makes one better than the next? What he can do. I mean, right. we all about this dollar. You know what I mean? Oh, so, yeah, like, but that's what I'm saying. So like, even if they want to shave more off the top, that means it's gonna overcompensate. They're gonna make you more than the next one could. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Out. Yeah, like we're if talking, you we're talking gold, baby. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Like I'm a numbers man. Yeah. Did you, wait, dude, you don't even have a car. What do you mean we're talking? Not, what are you doing, Bob? What are you talking about, bro? I don't need a wait, car. Wait, wait, I, 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 I heard you get, downtown. I heard you're getting a, a Prius though. Mm. Or, or what's the, the cubicle Dude, thing? Bro, that two years ago when I met you, you were like, "Dude, I'm about to blow up. I'm about to be famous in comedy and fucking." Now I'm about I'm to get myself. you. I'm gonna get you <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, like, that's, <laughs> yeah, that didn't happen. I'm giving. I'm giving up, dude. At yeah, this dude. point, yeah, I'll get my own car. You, you like, got you got the right following though, Laser. Like you got the right following. You able to go into any city you want. Like you just came from Baltimore, you know. Yeah, yeah. So like that, being able to sell that. And like probably do an after party after that, that you're gonna be a fucking millionaire if you start oh, setting up that after party. Uh, I just yeah. gotta hope this shit don't kill me because I don't have a fucking off button. You, know well, you gotta have self control. You have to. Don't have it. You I lost to. my <coughs> tooth. I chipped my tooth eating a fajita the other day. Well, yeah, but that's <laughs> not that. I mean, dude, that's like that's like minimal compared to what you put yourself through. And I'm just saying, as your yeah, but I never get sick. Care, but it's all right. I like partying with you. It's fun. Man, yeah, dude, don't wear that fucking sweater. Anymore. But I mean, who the fuck don't want to party with Uncle Lazy? You know, right? Exactly. Like, you don't even got to know him. Look at this motherfucker. You hey, know honestly, dude, you keep you keep on this route. I'm gonna be partying at that asylum with your ghost, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, yeah. Don't hang out, Bobby. Come see me. No, dude, it was crazy because in Tampa, dude, like that first time I was out there in Tampa, like I had like 40 people come to have a show, like, yo, can I? 
I take a bump with Uncle Laser, and I'm like, guys, I cannot do 40 bumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, that's fucking done. That's die. real it's shit, like, though. Yeah. Like, and I have, like, a test. I have a gauge meter now. Like, I don't have fentanyl strips because they're hard to get, but I'll be like, yo, look, yeah, I'll do one with you, but you got to take it in front of me, and I got to watch it for 15 minutes. What's fentanyl strips to make sure it ain't so fentanyl in it? no fentanyl in it, right? So, like, mm-hmm. I, my gauge is like, yo, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. If I'm in the mood, I'm like, yeah, I'll do a bump with you, but you got to take it first, and I got to watch you 15 minutes, and after that clears, I know it ain't bad. I'll do something. You know what I'm saying? Then I figure out, like, just because that little piece didn't fit <coughs> on it, that other piece could. So that's kind of fucking bullshit. But, you know, whatever. You, 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 I, look, if it's your time, it's your time. I ain't tripping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't scared of death. It's it, it, That's the only thing promised in life is taxes and death. Look you at know your, yeah. your justifications fucking bewilder me, dog. What do you mean, dude? Look, I spent a whole lot of my life, like, the majority of my 20s, my, like, the prime years of your life, yeah, on an oil rig in the middle of nowhere, like prison with windows. I didn't do shit. I lost a lot of time, lost a lot of fucking <laughs> okay. shit. I made a lot of money, but I, 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 my youth and my fucking, I, I had to do all that. So now I'm just like, fuck it. Let's ride it to the wheels. How, how old are you, Lazy? I'm 33. I just turned oh, okay. 33. But for a lot of my life, I was like, oh, I got to get a house. Got Because I was poor, so like getting money was cool to me and like establishing things and being wealthy. But like at the end, like it's all money does is buy a change of misery, right? So was I happy? Nah. But, was I comfortable? Yeah. But dude, I started learning like, being uncomfortable makes you more happy, right? Do, do you want to be happy on a bus or you want to cry in a Rolls Royce? That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I, I want to cry in a Rolls Royce. Same. You want to cry in a Rolls Royce? Yeah. See, I beg to differ, man. It just, everything in life is a vibe. Like, money makes shit easier. Like, I've had lights turned off. That shit sucks. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I, I understand that like, money makes shit a little more convenient. But at the end of the day, like, it's not even about... It's like you can kill. Most people spend their lives trying to make a living and forget to live. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So if I can, if we can do it along that. these means, like you know, like in in this kind of scene, what we're doing and having fun doing it, yeah, fuck yeah, money's gonna be great. But like money just ain't everything. It's the vibe. It's the party. It's the experience. It's the memories that you make that make the shit fun. It it, it, it ain't everything. You know what I mean? But it's a lot. You would, you would rather live. Like even like you ain't got to be like a billionaire because your your what you going your troubles going to be ridiculous. But a million dollars, I can make a million dollars last a long time yeah. as long as I invest it, right? No, right. So you know what I'm saying. Right. But like Fifty Cent say, if you if the money don't change, it means you just didn't make enough. You know oh, what I like mean? That. But I mean, I, and I feel it too because I I feel like. People that like, cause you, bro, you know how much you love money. Everybody loves money, so it can be everything depending on how you use it. But like, you got to be. I think it's better to be happy before you have it. Yes, than right. to like be okay rely with on it to make first. you happy because yeah. you still have some fucking you can't you know, let it untied it. ends by the time you get fucking yeah guap, and then you're just a rich weirdo motherfucker. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like, I, I, there's a lot of them, you know. When it's when I say change, it don't mean like change like you're gonna be a like a asshole. Right. But you gotta watch the people you're around. Like, you know this fucking moron over here, he ain't never, you know, you still my homeboy, but you can't come on the road with me. You a fucking liability. You're, liability. Now. you're <laughs> so, a Gary Faust. You, you know, know what I mean? Like, like my God. So like, here's the fucking that dude. Yeah, like changing you, Jesus. you gotta change some things if you wanna keep it. You know what I mean? Like 100%. every level. Look, you can't be a as a different person. You, you yeah. gotta be structured, right? I mean, but it's crazy though. Once you do start getting little cloud and blowing up like people just give you shit for free for it's free fucking crazy bro like we'll go out to scottsdale and shit and uh, we're getting bottle servers every club and shit and i'm just like you know it's still weird to me but it's See, fun you like you this this uh like it's you but the character that you've created, you don't understand how big it is when you see, like on TV, like before I really met you. You remember I met you with Cam when I came down? I was like, oh, this motherfucker is the real person he is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, yeah, a lot of people don't understand that, man. Like, like it's not an act. It's, uh, you know, on stage it's turned up to 11. Yeah, yeah, to 11. But I mean, I walk around with a six all the time. You know? Damn, yeah, no. Like, it, it smells like 12 foot, but, you know, it's only six inches. You know what I'm saying? But, like, <laughs> right, 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 you know, right. Shout out CJ. I like bro. that. But, but uh, I mean, do, do you, you got a manager, right? I got a booking agent. I manage all the own shit myself. Okay. He just kind of gets, he got the lead ins to the club and this and that, and he just books it. But I manage everything. Like, this is one thing, like, this oh. is like the first time, like, a big tour, big tour, not just like a one off. Weekend yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah. So like Southwest was running that special and shit, and like I booked out like all the way to like February, yeah, and yeah. I'm having to like line up dates, return flights, there's twos, fucking rental cars, hotels. You know what I'm saying? That's a fucking lot. I mean, I, this shit sucks. But you know, you know what you could do, like with that, with the branding, with like all they looking at is numbers. 
Look at Hilton. It's a Hilton everywhere. Hey, Hilton, check this out. You want to uh, blah, blah, blah? That's hey, Wyndham, blah, blah, blah. Hey, this is what we doing. I'm everywhere. You want but your shit every day? That is good on that end, but... Because I'm a national sex icon. Uh, no, nah, but I got a lot of lady friends around the parts of the United States, and most times I go there and kick it with them. It makes well, traveling on the road easier. Yeah, but I and, see the emotional toll that takes on you. So you're like, well, stop right there. Stop acting like you're smarter than fucking John. I'm like, not saying I'm not. smarter. No, I'm just saying that. No, I get what you said. I like to check. Because, like, look, look, this is the thing. Like, uh, I know a lot of these comments that go out on tour and shit like that, and they, they, they set up in a nice Hilton and shit like that, and they sit in their room and they don't go out yeah. to see it. Like when I was in Baltimore, yeah, man, you gotta live a little bit. You gotta go out yeah. and explore. Like, I like, you gotta, yeah, go no, out I and, feel you. but you gotta go out and explore and see. Cause, like, I, look, dude, I, I'm from fucking a village in Texas. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> from a small man. village a, a in a white colony. Dude. I, I, I worked in the fucking uh, the deserts in New Mexico. Like, now I'm seeing the world and traveling. I'm like, yo, I'm you wanna see and, it? I'm gonna be immersed in this shit. Cause I don't know how long I'll be able to do this. And I'm gonna go catch that vibe yeah no 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 i get it it's, it's that's the that's the fucking best way to think and that's the thing when people see that they like damn it i want to fucking party with laser yeah, or drink yeah. a miller light like it's this like where you at right now like well what you got the product that you got is way out of here like just get a motherfucker like hey go get me some money and we put it on here it's motherfuckers that'll go get the money for you that's but, what i'm saying but yeah. i understand the concept of like saying like i'm at that point right now where i'm like okay I still ain't sent out like eight emails. I'm waiting on the Dania Improv to hit me back for a one nighter. You know what I mean on the tour, and I'm tired of doing that. I give a motherfucker ten percent. You go find the clubs. You do this here, you know, because after a while that shit burn you the fuck out. Yeah, because yeah. it's a lot of handshakes and empty promises and shit yeah. like that. And it's just a that like honestly, without if I wouldn't and that agent contacted me without getting that agent, I don't know if I would have kept the same realm of what it was because it's hard like. Now, like, I just kind of focus on, like, yo, I need to write, I need to reset, yeah. and not... The real structure part of it is not drinking <coughs> during the week, trying not to go out and do the karaoke's and do all that bullshit during the week and, like, but have time to myself. I still do, because I'm just, like, <laughs> a piece of shit, but... But you can write just... You can write but, jokes but, off of that shit. But that's shit. what I'm saying. The experience alone, like, last night, like, with the fucking sexual harassment shit on my... I'm gonna I'm a make that a bit. Like, the experiences of living... I'm a storyteller. I'm I get what a, you're saying. I'm not a setup punchline punchline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does I, make I, sense. You gotta live it to yeah, like you got the real yeah, story. Because like that this material. is this isn't my character. This is fucking me. Like I'm gonna tell you these stories that has happened to me, and this is what's going on in my life. It's up to you. And I, it's my job to make them funny on stage. I can't just tell a story. I gotta have the the funny in it and bring. It, and that's the writing aspect of it, right? Yeah. But like if I ain't living it, that's that's my content. Like that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. And and it's it's real content. It's but it's a, the thing is like you say. Outside you a ten. Try to keep that motherfucker at a six. Then you know you can make it a lot of nights. You right, know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just it's it's the drinking part, man. Because I I don't ever just sit in my house like oh I want to do cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't ever just sit at the house. I'm by myself at the house. I'm never like oh I need a beer. I don't ever do that. The only time I drink is socially in the environment. But I don't have any self control. So as soon as I drink, I'm like. Let's but that's why go I get stopped drinking. You know, like that's why I stopped drinking because I understand I'm an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like yeah. before when I was drinking, I would wake up. I'm the opposite of you. I wake up in the morning and I have a four pack of Miller High Life, the tall cans, because I know I'm gonna get the shakes instead of wait walking to the to the store. It's already there. Yeah, you got the fence post in the refrigerator. We call yeah, it fence I'm gonna I'm gonna drink that. I'm probably gonna have a pint of shitty whiskey. I might drink it with Coke. I might shoot it. Damn, Jolly. Yeah, I used to drink. It's yeah. twelve o'clock now. Now it's twelve o'clock. But you ain't shaking no more. So you, you, were, I'm good. you were you were injecting whiskey. Did you? What? No, like, cheap, cheap whiskey. <laughs> Shitty whiskey. Shot. Oh, it wasn't shooting. <laughs> yeah, nah. Shot. Hell nah, that's I fucking was wild like, as hell. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, we're not fucking going nah, in deep waters, dude. <laughs> like, I was an alcoholic. Like, I'd be in a drink, <laughs> then I'd take a nap. I wake up, okay, it's, I probably got a show, or I might hit some mics to, to work on some shit. But that time, I'm there, I'm drinking shitty whiskeys, and they taste like water. I'm still not drunk. And then it'll just take one and it's like catches you. Yeah, that's the one you that know? puts you over the fucking. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I knew I couldn't keep doing that if I came to Austin because like I, I'm in too much of a position to really do what the fuck I want to do. Like I'm, I'm I, I quarterback this whole situation right now. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in it's two weeks when that shit drop on um what you call it, my whole life gonna change. Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, and that's the way you just gotta do exactly, bro. And since you're. That so that self control right there is literally it will make them shifts in your life like that does happen like, by doing that making little sacrifices here and there. 
I'm trying no, no, to stop no, no, smoking look, cigarettes. But, no, no, but look, I get that because like, look, look, like as I've learned, like as I go through, like I don't like to perform fucked up on stage, like on blow. Like, you're just talking over everybody, and when you're too drunk, you're slurring, and like if you're too high, you're kind of out of it. Like yeah. the best sense I ever had is hungover or just a tad bit buzzed, yeah. maybe a little bit weak, just a little but, like, bit. Learn. But yeah. the part that I was missing that it took me a minute to understand is like the writing part of it. So I wasn't taking enough time to myself to structure my shit. So like now, like I got off stage in Baltimore the other day, and like someone comes to me that was not even there for me, had never heard of me, just come up off street. Like man, I thoroughly enjoy that. You're fucking hilarious. So now I know I'm making shots. Like when you saw me when I opened up for Hinge Cliff, the last it, couple it, times it, it, you've been fucking cause, murdering, cause, lazy. Because I'm telling you, like, like I was you dog shit. Fucking I, was, I was dog shit. Like back in then, like I look back at those films, I cringe. And I still like me and Georgia were cutting clips the other day of shit. I filmed in Scottsdale, and then I, I I had a set from Baltimore this past weekend. And I told him, and that's a three week span. I told I didn't want to cut the clips from fucking Scottsdale because I know the ones in Baltimore is way better. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So like. I can see the progression. I can feel the progression. So, so I'm saying, but like, it's a game. You just got. You're keep. watching your game tape all the yeah, time. Exactly. You're checking but, out every fucking like, set. That helps a lot. Does, that shit helps a but lot. Dude, That's what you got to do. But when I first started, I was like, I hate watching myself on video. It's painful. Sometimes. Well, even if you listen, yeah. you you you. No, I, I, I recorded on my phone too and released back. But I'm just like in general, listening to myself playback. I kind of cringe. I'm like, but this is what it takes. That's how you learn. Yeah. What it takes. You learn how to fix all that shit that's making you cringe. And when it's all these comics told me this. I'm like, nah, I'll do it different. But nah, it ain't no different. You got to do stubborn and like now i'm just like okay the proof's in the pudding yeah. but like it's the structural thing like i don't have the shakes when i wake up i'm just hung over and that's yeah, part of it that's it now if you just i don't like hangovers because my hangovers be like take days to fucking bounce back from can i get a beer darling thank you sweetheart all right two of them actually you Oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, we the oh sober boys over yeah, here. Yeah. That's good, yeah. man. See, I need, I need. So to we could, we learn couldn't learn from y'all. Scuba Steve, we drink all the time. But no, the, the thing is, like, I know if I drink, it's like, ah, right, there we go. We back yeah, on that yeah, wagon. Nah, it's good. I don't want to get on the wagon no more. No, I get that. I gotta have like many of years of that wagon. I'm pretty decent not catching catching on to a wagon. What is that? What fucking? What song is that, dude? What's up, dude? Hey, what about Drake's new album? What do you think about Drake's new album? I don't know. I like Drake. Drake made me feel light too. skin. I don't never judge his shit. <laughs> I just fucking take my shirt off and um, I just yeah, en- enjoy the ride, Thank man. Thank you. All yeah. I do is enjoy the ride with Drake. I don't have no judgment <laughs> call on it. Yeah. I just Yo, like it. It's crazy. a good beat. Like I the Spanish it. shit. Hey, I love. Hey, I love that motherfucker. Oh, dog, straight up, and he's very, very like, bro. I Make. saw what he said about fucking Joe Budden, dog, or like to Joe Budden because Joe Budden was talking about how like his new fucking um, album. album What's the, I forget the name, but anyways, it's fucking fire. I Eight a.m. in Charlotte or something. So, well, for, for the it's dogs, like the dogs, for the dogs, for the dogs. Yeah. For the dogs, for the dogs. Hey, so fucking Joe Budden's like, nah, that's like, I'm like, that's like his kid shit. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you're trying to like clown him on his pod that he does. Yeah. And bro, you got to read this comment. Oh, he went off Joe. on fucking oh, Joe. bro, bro. Like, it's like, People he, he got the hate. Mark Twain Award just in like his fucking his literature. But it was oh so my God, peacefully fuck. done. It was nah, so he's good. Yeah, he shit. fucking dissected that motherfucker. I like him he ain't cuss at him or nothing. I just like, nice. I liked him in Degrassi in the wheelchair. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's my drink. Oh, no, I'm saying, That's my drink. Bro, you know? started doing that spin. I fucking yeah. was in love, dude. You ever watch him at basketball games, courtside? Oh, he's at serious Raptors, about oh, that. Fucking oh, he, goes hard. Yeah, he's in. Yeah. Clapping in players' faces. Yeah. Just fucking <laughs> <laughs> talking that shit. Yeah. But I, I like Drake because it's like, like when I, I don't, I show it to some people. Like me and Cam, we talk shit. Like man, I'm gonna bury your ass. Like motherfucker, I'm him. You know what I mean? But yeah. that's my attitude. Yeah. Like on the mic, I won't show it to people I don't fuck with. But or or that I don't know like that. That's what I say. Right. Not fuck with. Yeah. But. Like if like if it's us, like we gonna talk some shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> hey yeah, let's go. Come on. You know what yeah, these man. people came for? It's eight of them. Fuck it. They finna all eight of these people finna throw up. Yeah man. yeah. You're, you're right. still no, gonna that's get this the way work. To be. Iron sharpens iron. That's yeah it, baby. It's all the way around the world. Uh, that, the gold teeth. Tell me about these gold teeth in here, man. What happened? Yeah, she's just that's you, baby. Yeah, I just got bored one day in my twenties and just got gold teeth. I fucked. No, I was up. in my. I don't know how old I was. So not a full Late girl, 20s. just one at the bottom. And two no, I got the top. three of them. Yeah. Okay, look at you. Yeah, I just got a little teeth. That's, That's fire. Like, I like that, man. But what I was going to say, I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. Yeah, no, I was gonna say, man, that fucking that shit where you were talking about your nephew, uh, like I remember your jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, how good you dude, got. And I, with I, the I, butter, I, like I ain't yeah, never drank my dick with butter. Like, 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 
Because I remember jerking off. But like, yeah, know, I ain't never used butter. I mean, you warm yeah. it up. A <laughs> <laughs> you warm it up a little bit, dog. You got to warm it up. Like a honey bun. It's very like, versatile. You know, I, I, like, but that shit is funny. It's funny because like, I find like in comedy, man, shit, like you, everyone's funny, right? Everybody has their flavor. Everybody <clears> comedy's <throat> subjective. Everybody takes which route they're going to take. But I find that my shit is a little more relatable, you know, just to regular people. Because like, yeah. I, the one thing I get in this goddamn comedy scene, like, I'm not from this world. I'm not a theater yeah. kid. I'm not none of that. You're an alien? I'm an alien, dude. I'm fucking, you know, I don't even pay taxes. But, um, <laughs> but like, like I get into the scene and like everybody, like, everybody's got like a theater background. Shit. And like I played music my whole life, but I don't know how to read sheet music and none of that shit. Like I just kind of product, <coughs> the byproduct of like divorced parents and growing up kind of shitty. You know what I'm saying? Like that trauma shit builds that stuff. But like, it's just like relate. Like if I can, like everybody's fucking mom told him that turn on her car light was against the law. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's relatable. So if yeah. I can get you to look, I can get you to listen. You know but you, you, your your stories are believable. That's the first thing in comedy. Yeah. You got to like, you can tell a motherfucker, man, I was on the moon the other day and I was shooting dice with a Martian, right? Yeah, yeah. If you believe that, it don't matter Conviction. what you're telling them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like you believe it and they believe it. They, they want to hear it. It's yeah. interesting. It's how you sell it. It's not what you're saying. It's how you sell how it. How you the, sell that, it. That's the thin line between actual experience and just pure insanity, dog. Right. Like, yeah. That word. Right. Because like, if you're like that good at telling a story because it really happened to you, that's why. If you're that good at telling a story and it never happened, yeah. you make people believe it's because you're a compulsive liar. And you're a right, fan. right. Well, but Chappelle like, hey, would it's do, all right. right. You can make money either way. You know? yeah, yeah, but I, I like the authenticity part of it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. When I tell you something, I've lived that motherfucker. Ninety five percent of the shit I say on my jokes is how it went down. Yeah, and that, that's know? the crazy shit about it. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're talking to the bitch with the mud flower pussy. Uh, <laughs> that's fucked up, gum pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's like, like, I can picture oh, that. Oh no, the bubble gum. Bubble gum, baby. All right, well, listen, we've been about an hour in, huh? Yeah, we wrap it up. Uh, so where can everybody find you at, Jolly? Oh, uh, Mr. D Jolly, M R D J O L L Y, and uh, you know. Go to the link tree for the uh, gang violence tour. I'm coming to a city near you Boom. very soon, you know. Or I might just be back with Laser again. Hell yeah. But we coming. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like we're going to tear some ass up. Jimmy, what about yourself, old son? I got JimmyMoynihanComedy.com and Instagram, Jimmy.Moynihan. So. Love it. It's the yeah. whitest shit in the world. I do love yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> My boy Bobby Flacco, yeah. Nether Hour. What's up, every, baby? Every Sunday. Fucking That's good times. WTF, yeah, man, Sunday we're there. Service. We're there. Fucking That's, creating you know, the vibe. Got the new serious. album. Winter, y'all still releasing the? You get we, We're just matches. doing singles by single. It's it's all coming soon. We'll be posting it on our page. Just follow us, Nether Hour on Instagram. If you don't already, if you do, I appreciate you. Come see us. I got my boy Giorgio back here. He's doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, you what you got? You got fucking doing videos, all kinds of shit uh, with. Dom Dollar, everybody. Yeah, you can be yeah, gay porn. Hey, my hit favorite. up Giorgio, email him. He's, if you need video for anything, runs drones. Every, the man's a goddamn savant. It's fucking crazy. Uh, it's been another. <laughs> I'm Uncle Laser. You know where to find me. we kicking off this tour. Check all the bullshit. It's been another great fucking episode of my Drunk Uncle's podcast. Thank you for prospects for fucking setting this all up. Uh, we'll catch you around next time. Make sure to get your cat spayed or neutered. Shout out Bob Barker. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>